my lovelies, welcome to my channel. My name is Jays and I help people take back their power spiritually, physically and mentally. Now, today's video is going to be about sex. Yes, sex, quite the taboo subject, but something pretty much everyone indulges in at some point in their lives. So needless to say, it's a th <laughs> really important subject to know about and to fully understand. Unfortunately, especially in Western society, sex is heavily misunderstood and abused, especially in the form of porn and addiction and rape and many other things. So this is mainly because as Westerners, we were all of our knowledge was lost um, because of the burning times and many other things and because of the Christian overtaking, etc. Um, and they never teach you about sex. They just demonize it as they do with many things. And because of this, many religious communities just abstain from sex completely. Um, and I can understand why. However, I don't believe that is the best way. And there was a lot of beautiful aspects to sex. Sex is powerful, sex is divine, and ultimately sex is sacred. Unfortunately, we've been brainwashed and made to believe that sex is a very dirty, shameful thing, um, heavily because of the pornography industry and media and music and rightly so in the way they portray it it is completely the opposite of how sh real sex should actually be um men are heavily subject um to fall into the sort of soul trap of you know negative sex especially with porn addiction and just sexual addiction in itself this can cause a lot of problems with men um, as what men don't actually realise is sexual energy is creative energy and it's the same for women. So, but a man's semen is really, really important. <laughs> a man's semen is literally his life force energy. It is your essence as with a woman. But with semen, if you keep ejaculating every single day you are literally throwing away your energy you are literally aging this can lead to ill health this can lead to premature death it's that serious this is your chi this is your energy this is what keeps you vibrant and young and alive and in a way porn is a weapon to weaken men and to you know and take away your power because when sex is used and done in the right way, as seen in tantric practices and Taoism practices, is a powerful tool to not only unite woman and man in a sacred loving ritual and meditation, but you can connect to source, you can connect to God, you can awaken your third eye. It's a deep meditation and that's how it should be seen. And it doesn't mean that it just has to be all slow and, you know, vanilla and boring. No, you can still, you know, tap into your instincts and do, you know, passionate lovemaking. But it has to be done in the right way. And it's very important for people to not just sleep around. Because you ain't just going to get <laughs> STDs in the form of sexual transmitted diseases. You're going to contract something much worse. You're going to get sexual transmitted demons <laughs> literally and non literally because everyone has three bodies right so you have your physical body you have your energetic body the unseen body and you have your soul your spirit which controls and gives life to all three basically so everyone has an energetic body okay so all of your emotions are stored in this energetic body, your aura in a way. So when you connect with someone and the most powerful connection that you can do physically is obviously sex because you become one. But if this person that you're sleeping with is on a low vibration, they have trauma, they have baggage, they have, 
so many unresolved issues, they have addictions, they have ill health, all of that, the fractal of their energy will go inside you, especially women, because women, our wombs are like gateways. So you can actually manifest womb trauma and store energy within your womb and not just your own energy, but then other people's energy. So this can really mess up people, especially young teenagers, if you're just going around <laughs> shagging anyone. <laughs> and, you know, especially if you don't know who that person is, because you're taking on their baggage, literally in an energetic way. And, you know, we have enough problems of our own to be, you know, dealing with and processing and healing. So you do not want to be then taking on someone else's baggage and then making it 10 times harder for yourself. And this happens with men also. Um, so you need to be really cautious who you sleep with. Really, really cautious. Because as a rule of thumb, you should never sleep with anyone who you wouldn't want to be. Okay? And in my opinion, I don't believe that you should have sex with anyone unless both of you are actually in love. Unless you actually really respect and fully love one another. Because that's what makes sex powerful and sacred anyway. Because your energies need to match. Kind of like, <laughs> I don't know if people will resonate with this, but if you've ever watched Dragon Ball Z, yes, I like Dragon Ball Z. Um, if you remember the fusion technique that they do when they basically you have, you know, Goku and Vegeta and they need to combine to become one person. They need to match each other's energy, otherwise they won't combine, or if they do, they look like all distorted and manipulated, you know, they look messed up basically. They don't become aligned in harmony and then this powerful, sacred, you know, fighter that, you know, full of amazing energy. Sex is kind of like the same thing. So if you are both unhealthy, you eat shit food, you eat, you drink alcohol, you're all just, you know, all over the place, mentally physically spiritually you know you're a mess basically and you then have sex with someone else you're then going to become even more distorted like ha like what happens in dragon ball the fusion technique because you're fusing so it doesn't work in order for sex to be positive and beneficial and healing because you can actually physically heal sickness and different issues within the body through sexual energy it's that powerful because it's creative energy like this energy can create a whole new human being like think how powerful that is so it is not to be abused i wish i knew this years ago and i would have stayed a virgin for as long as possible until i truly found my ultimate soulmate my twin flame my you know just anyone really who was on the you know positive healthy vibration and respected and loved me but unfortunately you know especially in western culture we're not you know we're pressured to lose your virginity when you're you know a teenager then you're seen as a loser if you don't lose your virginity and then men they glorify you know how women they can how many women they can sleep with um it's just so toxic it's so toxic and unfortunately it's been accepted as the norm when really it's not, and it's damaging you, heavily damaging you. Um, your virginity is so powerful and sacred. Like, just think of it as your body being a cup of water, okay? And as soon as you have sex with someone, so imagine you're pure, you come from a good family, you're, you know, you're pretty stable mentally, physically, you're pretty healthy. And then this sexy bad boy comes along and you lose your virginity to him now what's happened is his water is dirty so he <laughs> his cup of water is black yours is pure beautiful sparkling you know alkaline water actually we might as well just call him coca-cola okay he's coke <laughs> now you his he's now just poured all that coke all that dirty water into your beautiful pure clean water and now you've become black you've become coca-cola okay that's what happens with toxic relationships that's sexual transmitted demons okay 
Um, and then you can actually manifest um, even coming into contact with incubuses and succubus demons, which are sexual parasites, sexual entities who do feed off literally sexual energy. Um, and they are actually, you know, heavily attached to people who are sex addicts or porn addicts. Um, not everyone, of course, will experience this, but if you are a witch, if you are an empath, if you are connected to the parallel, you know, paranormal um, realms, etc., you are especially, you know, vulnerable to these sort of attacks. So you need to be even more cautious of who you are in a relationship with, of who you sleep with. You need to protect your womb as the sacred temple that it is, because it is a sacred temple. It is a sacred temple. And unfortunately, women are not taught this. We're even shamed <laughs> about our menstrual cycles. We're even, you know, brainwashed to think that our, brain, uh, our menstrual cycles are dirty and ooh, gross, and when really our menstrual blood is super powerful and is such an amazing tool to use and spell work etc i'll be doing a video on sex magic in the future and menstrual blood magic um in the ancient times you know ancient women they would all meditate in red tents together because there was naturally sync because when women are in tune with the earth and each other they naturally all menstruate at the same time so they would all meditate together in solitary away from men in red tents throughout their periods because when a woman is on her period you are at your most powerful and magical you are at your most um, intuitive your psychic you know your psychic abilities are heightened when you're on your period again another thing that they don't want you to know about <laughs> so again this is why women shouldn't be on the pill you shouldn't you know have natural cycles as much as possible because then you're connected to the earth you're connected to your natural psychic abilities way more um so to really help people men and women um understand more about their sexual energy is think of your energy as currency okay so it's like money so you can't just be throwing it away you're like you're not going to just be throwing away your money and giving it away to everyone you see um because eventually you'll go broke okay <laughs> and then you know you'll be skint it's the same with your energetic bodies so you need to really respect your temple your womb your menstrual cycle men you need to respect your semen you should not be throwing it away, especially on, you know, even women can be very parasitic in a sense of, you know, they'll just want to make a man ejaculate again and again and again and again because it makes them feel good because a lot of insecure women will, you know, only feel satisfied if they feel like, oh, I've made this man ejaculate. So I've done, you know, my job sort of thing. Um, but again, this is very parasitic and it's just draining the man. It makes you tired this is why men feel tired after ejaculating that is physical proof right there that's why you want to just oh fall asleep and even athletes and fighters you know they are told strictly do not have sex do not wake up or ejaculate you know like two weeks or a month before they have a fight before they have a competition because they feel and they know that it, dra it drains them for a more in-depth video on sexual energy for men, go check out my partner's video, which he done recently on semen retention and how it massively changed his life. Um, on Warriors Amongst Men, Sam, he's done awesome videos on that. Um, and it's powerful. There's a huge movement and it's beautiful to see within the male spiritual community of, you know, NoFap and it has huge benefits like this creates men to be literal you know superpowers makes you super sane <laughs> so don't be thrown away don't be tricked into that because porn is a weapon um and that's just the physical aspects let alone even the mental aspects of it so but it doesn't mean you can't love and appreciate a woman's beauty it doesn't mean that you can't love and appreciate your partner you know but just look for a partner that you actually do love because sexual 
you know, lusting, etc., will never satisfy you. And I heavily regret having sex with people who I didn't really even know or bond with or love in my past. I heavily regret that. And I knew, I wish I knew this knowledge. Um, and I changed when I lost my virginity at such a young age of 15, I changed. Before I lost my virginity, I was very young, I was very energetic, I had so much creative energy, I was always drawing, I've always been into art. And as soon as I got with my first boyfriend, who was a porn addict, um, very unhealthy and has a lot of issues and social anxiety, it massively drained my energy, massively. And then that led me to insecurity, and then that led me to bulimia and then binge drinking, and then smoking, and then self-harming, and suicidal depression, like it just, doo, downward spiral. And then sexual entities, other entities, demons, they then step in because they attack you when you're down, okay? You can't <laughs> destroy negative entities because they just exist within parallel dimensions all around us constantly like we do, but you can raise above them. So this is why you need to be wise, what you do and where you put your energy and keep your frequency high. And porn and eating junk food and drugs and alcohol, all these things drain us, okay? But that's a whole other video to talk about. Um, so, but sexual energy is so important and you, you won't be able to manifest efficiently. So your spells and your manifesting efforts will not work efficiently if you are thrown away or abusing your sexual energy, if you're sleeping around with the wrong men, if you are in a toxic relationship with a narcissist or a porn addict, because then that energy rubs off onto you. Even if you are doing loads of self-work and meditating and eating right and doing yoga, yoga, etc., journaling, doing spells, you know, putting all your energy into really trying to manifest what you want and being a good person. If you were in a relationship with a porn addict, all that effort goes to waste because as soon as you have that fusion, as soon as you <laughs> connect with their energy, you distort because then they, <laughs> their Coca-Cola water goes into your pure water and then it makes it dirty. So basically that lowers your frequency and then, you know, you're not going to be able to manifest what you want. You're not going to be able to become that creatrix because that's what you can do because sexual energy is creative energy. And if you struggle with porn addiction as a man or a woman, the best way to overcome that is to put that energy into something creative. So start a YouTube channel, draw, you know, make music, anything that's creating something will massively help you. Obviously that brings you joy as well. You know, even going to the gym, getting out that, you know, extra energy, it will really, really help balance you until you, you know, get better with it as, along with meditation and all the practices of, you know, raising your vibration. And self-love because a lot of the time what causes sexual addiction is when someone is spiritually not whole. So a woman, if she's very insecure and she has too much yin energy, she'll massively be um, chasing yang energy because yin is feminine energy and yang is masculine energy. So if she's very insecure and she might have, you know, trauma relating to abandonment issues with a partner or even her dad or, you know, anything like that, if she has these sort of issues with her nerves and she'll be unhealthily chasing men that trying to fill that hole inside her. And it's the same with men. If they have too much masculine energy, they will be excessively trying to chase that feminine energy, trying to fill that void, trying to fill that hole inside them, but it doesn't work. <laughs> so, because you need to fill your own hole, okay? You need to fill your own vessel with both a healthy amount of masculine energy and a healthy amount of feminine energy. You need to become both the yin and the yang. Very important that. So I hope this video helps you in the very, you know, basics, you know, of sexual energy. Um, there is so much to talk about on this subject and I will be doing a series on sacred sex. Um, on how you can cultivate it better if you're single or with a partner. 
Um, but the bottom line is, is treat sex with respect. And I heavily advise and recommend checking out Taoism sexual practices, um, as this has really helped me on, on my path. Um, Mantak Chia is awesome. Um, and there's another book, I can't remember. I'll do a video on my recommended books. Um, that really helped me all to do with feminine sexual energy. Um, but ultimately, do not abuse it. Treat it with love, treat it with respect. Don't throw away your virginity. If you haven't lost your virginity, if you haven't lost your virginity, hold on to it because it gives you power. It gives you so much power. You are retaining that essence, and it's the same with men. So men, if you're struggling with porn addiction, go check out my partner's channel as he overcame his, um, and it changed his life. So, and even myself, I used to be a bit of a porn addict when I was a young teenage girl, I suppose, with <laughs> vibrators, like most women. Um, but even that, throw it out, I'll be doing a video on that as to why. Um, and yeah, I really, really hope this video helps you Lots of love and light. Ahimsa.